okay guys, I'll take you on a tour. Felix Baumgartner is known for not accepting any limitations. You know, I'm always looking for a new objects, for a new challenge, and I always want to be the first one on doing something which has never been done before. He did just that in 1999 in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This was my last call. Okay, guys, see ya. Where he completed the lowest space jump in the world from the Christ the Redeemer statue. One of my favorite quotes is, learn to love what we've been taught to fear. I mean, since I was a little kid, I've been told, don't fall off anything. Don't go too close to the edge. And I didn't, but later on I found out I feel, I feel it feels natural for me being on the edge. So I wanted to see what's behind this edge, what's waiting for me. In 2004, he base jumped into a cave in Croatia a jump no one had ever tried before due to the inability of seeing the ground during free fall. You really have to prepare yourself. You really have to come up with a perfect plan. The jump itself is just a topic, it's a showdown. But the whole preparation before to get the team together, this is pretty much what I really wanted to do. So having a plan, you know, it's, it starts with a thought. It's going in one direction, it's a vision, you know. And finally, it becomes reality. It's like, it's not always he chooses to jump to object. Sometimes the object chooses him. I want that building so bad because it's the tallest building in the world. Okay, pay financial center 101. Check this out. In 2007, he became the first person to jump from the 91st floor observation deck of the tallest building in the world in Taipei, Taiwan. Oh, what a rush, man. <laughs> Well, a jump doesn't take a long time. It's over within 10 minutes, you know? But the stress level is such a high level, you would not believe. There's so many things that you have to do in such a short time. Because when you wake up in the morning, you know, okay, this is gonna happen today. And one morning soon, he will wake up and attempt his biggest challenge so far, Red Bull Stratus, the mission on the edge of space, a jump from the stratosphere. The Red Bull Stratos is definitely the realization of my dream. And I'm willing to put myself through fire to accomplish the task because I've been working so hard the last 12 years to develop my skills and to take it to another dimension. And I think with this project, I definitely reached the peak.